Howdy folks, Timber Drifter here. So I'm coming to you from the forest growing inside the walls of an old cement plant. This is uh, that right there is an old smokestack. So this is a place I kind of grew up coming here, camping here, hiking here pretty regularly, fish in the river sometimes. We used to come out here and shoot, come out here and have fires. But this is the center building of three buildings uh, and an old cement plant in the center of a ghost town that closed about 100 years ago. And when I was a kid, I don't remember any trees being in here. If they were, they were just saplings. See the prickly pear cactus growing there? Yeah, anyway, it's been it's been probably 10 years since the last time I was in here. And it's a hell of a hike over very rough terrain to get in here the back way since the road is closed. And maybe you can see I don't have a whole lot of daylight, maybe three and a half hours at the most. And it'll take all of that to get out, get back to my vehicle. You can see the old sections of the old wall have fallen in. So there's more to this place than just these three buildings here. There's a whole lot of, back up behind that wall, there's a whole lot of, uh, I don't know what it was, a lot of concrete, <laughs> a lot of old walls and foundations and things like that. See how that branch has grown over that wall. I just, I've always loved this place. And the whole time I've been back in Kansas, I haven't had a chance to get in here. I've tried several times and it didn't work out, so this is probably the last time. Had to make it happen. actually going to smoke some reverb plug but too worn out to smoke anything. So pipe's just a prop today. Most of these trails I haven't walked for yeah, 10 years or more. But even though there's trees down everywhere and the trails are washed out, I still seem to know exactly where I'm at. But everybody thinks this place is haunted. It is creepy, for sure. And I suppose whatever your belief or definition of haunted is, could certainly could certainly fit that. I've had some odd experiences out here, but I think what is haunting about the place more than anything 
is just realizing that this was something man built. And it's it's huge. It's a huge place. I can't can't even begin to show you. But it's something huge and monumental right, that man built that we, we have then abandoned and all ma nature started growing roots and trees up out of everything and toppling buildings and rotted the houses out and flooded and washed foundations away. I think that's what's creepy about this place for people is the fact that it's a place that was once ours, right? We had dominion over it. We took it and changed it and made it something different and pressed it to our needs and Mother Nature took it back. And I think that that is that is what is haunting about this place for people. Whether they go to that level with it or not. Very obviously not our place anymore. There's the some of the building behind me. But this place definitely has had an influence on my life. Spending so much time out here over the years watching watching the woods take over. There's more more ruins back behind me there. Quite a lot of them. And yeah, it's been it's been about a hundred years since this was abandoned, and it's still here. But basically, just the stone and rusty scrap iron and things like that here and there. Lots of stuff like this all through the woods here, all over the place. Yeah, this place has taught me the impermanence of just about anything we can do. I mean this is this is concrete, this is man-made stone. And that's what's left after a hundred years. A little stone and a little steel. Not much else. Alright. Take care, folks. I get a long hike back. Go outside. <laughs>